here for at least the next four or five years, and that's fair. I betrayed the public trust. I did. That's how the judge explained it to me. I had betrayed the public trust. The FAA, they took away my pilot's license. And that's fair. My chances of ever flying again are slim to none. And I accept that. I've had a lot of time to think about it, all of it. Been doing some writing. I wrote letters to each of the families that had lost loved ones. And some of them were able to hear my apology. Some of them never will. I also apologize to all the people that tried to help me along the way, but I couldn't or wouldn't listen. People like my wife, you know, my ex-wife. son and again like I said you know some of them will never forgive me some of them will but at least I'm sober I thank God for that I'm grateful for that and this is gonna sound real stupid coming from a man who's locked up in prison but for the first time in my life, I'm free. You have 40 minutes. Okay. Got <laughs> <laughs> oh. ah. you, boy. How you doing? Yeah. You look good. Come on, sit down. This is a surprise. You get that gift I sent you? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I got it. You like it? Yeah. Good. How's your mom? Oh, she's all right. My college counselor wanted me to come and interview you. Me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm writing essays for college applications. Good. I need your help. You got it. And, uh, this essay, the essay that I have to write, it's called The Most Fascinating Person That I've Never Met. Okay. So, Who are you? That's a good question. 